Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, Mad Mike, coming at you guys with yet another Atlanta Falcons video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for all of the latest Atlanta Falcons news, as well as, um, you know, what's happening around the sports, uh, the world of sports. But let's get into this little mock draft that I thought was interesting. Um, this is Michael Renner of PFF, and I think you guys will be quite entertained by this. So let's get straight, straight to it. Um, this is PFF's mock draft, um, the final one. Uh, so according to this, this is not. Don't eat, beat me up for it. I just thought it was interesting. Um, but let's get straight to it, man. Um, the first one, Jacksonville Jaguars have them taking Trayvon Walker from Georgia. I think a lot of people – uh, think would think that's interesting. Um, Trayvon Walker is obviously one of those guys. When you look at the size, his athleticism, I think he has the capability of becoming a very good uh, project in, um, you know, in the draft in the NFL coming out of the NFL. But a lot of guys uh, mocking Aiden Hutchinson to the Jags. But at this point in time, I think it's going to be Trayvon Walker. Or Aiden Hutchinson, and if I had to make a pick, I would have to say um, Trayvon Walker. The second one, obviously, uh, he has Aiden Hutchinson going to the Detroit Lions. Um, Houston Texans are taking Derek Stingley. The Jets, right? Ikum, Ikong, uh, um, I hope I said his name. I butchered his name, yeah, um, but the Jets definitely need help along the offensive line as well as just the offense in, in its entirety. But I think this is the best way to go uh, for them, so I like that pick for the Jets. Um, Ahmed Sauce Gartner, um, he has the New York Giants taking him at five, the fifth, uh, fifth spot. The sixth spot, Carolina Panthers. Um, this is mighty interesting because me personally, I think, you know, they could quite possibly take a corner, uh, a corner, but a quarterback at that position. But he has them taking Charles Cross of Mississippi to the Carolina Panthers. Um, the seventh pick, the New York Giants from Chicago, Evan Neal. I think that's a damn good pick for the Jets if they decide to go that route. But this is the one that I wanted to really focus on. Jamison Williams. Um I, I mocked the Falcons. Well, not so much, Mark, but those that's one of the guys that I thought, um, me personally, I would take a chance on. If it was one of those things where I was like, all right, who's the best player in this draft? Me personally, I'm going to say Jamison Williams before the ACL tear. So the fact that they got him uh, mocked at the eighth pick, um, for the Atlanta Falcons is hella dangerous. I want to know what you guys think about that. Um, I'm going to continue to go down the line um, just for you guys, for everybody's sake. Um, but Seattle Seahawks, um, he has Kayvon Thibodeau going to the Seahawks and the Jets with the 10th pick. They got Jermaine Johnson. Um, that's an interesting prospect for myself, I think. You know, um, you know, quite possibly the Falcons could – Take him, in my opinion, with that A spot, but we will see how things go. Um, but again, this is a mock draft from Michael Renner. Um, the 11th pick, Washington Commanders. Got to get used to saying that. The Washington Commanders selecting Kyle Hamilton, the Minnesota Vikings, with Garrett Wilson um, at the 12th position. It goes to uh, Minnesota, uh, Los Angeles Chargers. Um, they have them taking Trevor Penning uh, from Iowa, Northern Iowa, Baltimore Ravens, Jordan Davis. And, ooh, um, that would be a great pick for them, man. The style of play that they like to uh, play on that side, obviously, um, you know, in my opinion, I think he's the best defensive lineman uh, in its entirety, um, you know, Jordan Davis is. But, hey, that's my bias opinion. Hey, this is what our Bulldogs nation can do. We stick – to our own, but uh, even if he wasn't a uh, dog, man, just to see this dude on the field, um, I, I think it fits perfectly for what the Ravens are doing. Philadelphia Eagles, Trent McDuffie um, goes to uh, 
from Washington. I think that's a very good pick for them. New Orleans Saints, they're taking Kenny Pickett. That's an interesting pick for them. I could see New Orleans Saints um, trading up if they are impatient. They feel like they're going to get a, they're not going to get the quarterback that they expect. But so check out Kenny Pickett there. Um, 17 in Houston Texans taking Devin Lloyd. I love that pick. Um, Devin Lloyd is one of those players in this draft. He's an all-around guy. I think he can do all types of things, blitz coverage. Uh, obviously, he's one of the better linebackers in it. So um, they got him going to the Texans, the 18th pick, the Philadelphia Eagles, taking George Kalathis from Purdue. Again, the Saints with the 19th pick, what they got from the trade with uh, the Philadelphia Eagles. They're taking Chris Olav from Ohio State, the wide receiver. Uh, the 20th pick, uh, Malik Willis from Liberty, the Atlanta native. Um, that's a damn good pick for them. I think, you know, if he does, they decide to stay there or, you know, New Orleans feel as though that they want to go for um, Malik Willis. Um, Pittsburgh, I think Pittsburgh would be the perfect place for um, Malik Willis. Um, the 21st pick, Quay Walker from Georgia, New England Patriots. They always find a way to get those Georgia Bulldogs over there. So I think I love that pick for um, Quay Walker. Uh, you have the Green Bay Packers taking Drake London with whew, uh, Aaron Rodgers and Drake London. I think that'll be a very good. Uh, I think that'll be a very good duo there. Drake London is a guy that I, I like for the Atlanta Falcons, but I doubt um, the Falcons take him with the eight pick. But I wouldn't be surprised if they um, didn't. Uh, they went with him. Doubt it, but I wouldn't be. Uh, I wouldn't hate to pick Arizona Cardinals. Uh, Andrew Booth Jr. from Clemson. Um, like that pick for them. Uh, obviously, if, you know, I mean, depending on if you have the necessary uh, pass rush up front, you can take a corner. So hey, I think that'd be good for the Cardinals. Um, the, Dallas Cowboys taking Zion Johnson, um, a guard from Boston College. The Buffalo Bills with the 25th pick taking Devontae Wyatt from Georgia. Love that pick. They they already have a young, exciting defensive front. So having Devontae Wyatt, but those guys are already there, man. Um, I think that would be a good pick for the Buffalo Bills. Tennessee Titans, the 26th pick. Kenyon Green from Texas a and I think mean, he's a very talented guard. Um if the Falcons had a couple of picks, I would not mind taking him, even though um, you have a guy like Mayfield, Jalen Mayfield, at that position um, at the left guard. Uh, you could, depending on whether or not uh, Caleb McGeary um, is an Atlanta Falcons in the near future, um, it, it's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting. But I do like the Kenyon Green, the Tennessee, Tampa Bay taking Daxon Hill from Michigan. Um, don't really know if that's a good pick. They, I mean, he fits what they are doing there. They're a blitzing team. Um, he can play inside as well as, you know, some safety so you can move him around. Again, that's what Todd Bowles like to do. Uh, the 28th pick for the Packers, Tyler Smith from Tulsa. Pretty good pick for them also. 29th pick with the Chiefs. Uh, and George Pickens, that would be hell of an interesting, um, especially when they lost a guy like Tariq Hill. Um, that could be a place that they go uh, for their right receiver position. Um, the 30th pick also for the Chiefs, Boye Mafe. I hope not because that's a player that the Falcons are incredibly uh, interested in, um, you know, taking them themselves. So I think he's a good player. Um and they have him being mocked to the Chiefs at 30. And the 31st, the Cincinnati Bengals and Tyler Lindebaum. I think that's a be a, a perfect uh, pick for those guys because they need all the help that they can get on that offensive line. Already have a solid run game, solid quarterback, receivers, weapons there. And you add a, a offensive lineman that's going to only get better in Cincinnati. Detroit Lions with 32 32nd pick in the draft, Sam Howell. That would be a very interesting pick. So this is Michael Renner, uh, 
pick from the PFFs. Let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, continue to support you, but here at Mad Mike Sports. So this is, again, this is a mock draft of the PFF. Um, again, if you guys want to see it, um, you have the Atlanta Falcons being taken, um, taking Jamison Williams. And I know you guys already said, <laughs> I know you already said it to yourself. Bro, I don't want no damn Alabama wide receivers. And, hey, if this man is healthy and the Falcons feel like Jameson Williams is healthy, hey, man, if he can get back to that, that would be a hell of a um, draft pick. And it would be a gutsy, gutsy uh, pick for the Atlanta Falcons. So let me know what you got to think about this mock draft. Leave your comments below. Your boy, man, Mike, is out of here, baby. Peace.